Here we have the largest building in the set, the dining hall. Now, this has to be my favorite part of the set. Because, again, you've got the nice hinges here and the connector pieces that allow you to connect the entire set together. But what I really like about the set is that you'll notice there are poles and these very nice detailed arches. Now they go along and you've got these window pieces. Now this is really nice because it gives it that castle look which makes it very detailed and you've got pillars and the nice tile pieces. If you flip this to the side you'll notice that there are stained glass windows. These are just singular colored bricks but it definitely gives the dining hall a very nice touch and makes it look a lot better. Now, if we flip the dining hall to the other side, you'll notice that there's a door. And what I really like about the door is that you'll see right there a little key slot. You take your key, you can just put it into the slot and it fits like so. You can twist it if you'd like and you can just take the door and open it like so. That's also a very nice feature when playing with. Now onto the inside of the castle. I definitely have to say that it is very, very detailed. You've got both Slytherin and the Gryffindor tables and you've got this nice swiveling lantern at the very top. You can also move these signs. And here we have the head of the table which you can seat people onto and these are also tables which you can seat any Slytherin or Gryffindor characters. So, I would definitely have to say that the dining hall has to be my favorite part of the entire Harry Potter set. Because not only is it extremely detailed, but I just think Lego has done an amazing job on adding a whole bunch of detail, making this dining hall a lot more realistic. Here we have the final building of the set. This set building here is Dumbledore's building. And I'll show you that why later. And like I said before, you've got the unique green piece as in the tower, like I mentioned before. And here we have the four different sections are the printed brick and what you'll notice is that the four different sections are actually the four different styles or the four different characters in the story. As you can see here you've got the Gryffindor, Slytherin and all the other signs that represent the different parts of the school. And if you look down here You've got another door, the same thing as the door in the dining hall, which you can put a key into and just open it up like so. And you've got these nice thicker printings here, making this set extremely detailed. You've also got this nice triangular piece coming around, making it look more realistic. Onto the inside. As you can see here, it is extremely detailed. I would definitely have to say that this is one of the more detailed parts of the set because you've got a bat here and all the tower pieces making it look as if it is a real castle. And up here, we have the 
facial expression hat. You can see or put this hat onto anybody. Harry Potter, for instance. And it just sits up like so. What also comes with this set, which I left in the Dumbledore room, was the invisibility cloak. You can just set it over any character, and voila, they're invisible. Which I thought was a very nice touch, and was very helpful when playing with. I thought it was very nice that Lego included that. And now on to the very bottom of the set. You'll notice here, we've got the nice stand, and we've got a treasure chest, which also opens, and there's a gem inside. You'll also notice that the treasure chest is in a brick formation, which you can set anything you'd like on top. If you open up the set, like I mentioned before, you've got this nice gem piece, and you've also got a notepad. Now, my favorite part of Dumbledore's building is these stairs. Why, you ask? Because these stairs are extremely fun to play with. And they're also in the movie, which I thought was very nice. The stairs just swivel across like so. You can fold them up so that it looks as if it is just there or a wall. And then just kick it across like so. And now there are stairs. And that's pretty much it for the bottom of the building and onto the top. Onto the top, we have this magnifying glass, which actually works. It's over this newspaper, and uh, it's hard to show, but the magnifying glass will actually magnify the letters on here, and you can see it very clear. We've got orbs and a whole bunch of potions located everywhere on his desk. And back here, you can see Dumbledore. Just like so. So that's pretty much it for Dumbledore's building. So overall, I would have to say that this set is definitely worth its price. Although $120 through $140 seems like a lot, I would have to say that for the pieces in the set and what you get in the set is definitely worth it. You've got a lot of unique features in the set making it extremely movie accurate and I would have to say that this is one of the best Lego sets Lego has ever created. So if you're Christmas shopping and you want to get something unique for your kids to play with, I would definitely recommend the new Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle. Thank you for watching.